you can. As you can. Oh, oh very sweet. You can chew. And from next day, manjari should be here. Here. And she Where is manjari? Oh, oh. Yes, sir. Not today, but in mid, mid time or any time. Git Govinda. Ladies from Houston also want to say. Houston? They're leaving tomorrow. Yes, they also want to do one more time. They? They should hear more. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that a no? <laughs> oh, if they will hear more sweet, they can. Oh, yes, should come forward because this is not good. against of his guru. He had left the guru service. And he wants to be himself a guru. That bogus guru cannot help. Because now he is a Vaishnava. So at once we should give up that guru. Guru api avalitasya karjum karjum aja utpa. So Shastra has told at once, if your Guru Dev is sincere, serving his Guru Dev, fall, but he is not so much experienced, then take some order from him, permission. In his daughter, very humbly, and ask him whether I, whether I can go to have Vaishnava, to hear, oh, he will gladly tell me. You must go. I will also come. And don't give up that Guru. 
pay respect and then be here. You can go to Sat Dhamudha, Raya Ramananda, Rupa Raghunath, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Srila Prabhupada, Srila. Have it. Without sadhusan, pure sadhusan, your life sadhusan, you will be gradually weak. And what sadhana you have in the beginning? Oh, it will go away. So even being madhyama dikari, uttama dikari too, he always follows high class of Vaishnava association. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shastri Kaya, Lava Mahatma. So you should believe you strongly in all ethics words. Always. Don't do anything which is unfavorable for bhakti. Give up all these things. Very strong. This is the first state. By chanting and remembering being in the association of a good person, Guru Dev, oh, detachment from the world is bound to come. But still, we are serving, you are hearing, you are doing so much, but you have so much sense gratification. You are not satisfied by your own wife. New, 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 very beautiful you want and to give up and again to. Like dogs and hawks. This is not the symptom of a bhajan. I don't lie. Don't lie. I know that it will ruin his whole career. So try to remember. Sita, Savitri, <coughs> Draupadi, Arundhati, Anushya, and all of us. Like Ram, that Krishna, like Rupraganath, if he want to advance in Krishna consciousness, really try to follow this. Then you can realize Guru Mahasi, otherwise not. I humbly request you all to follow all these things. I want to discuss you all these things and give so much aspiration that really you should, by the parameter of Harinathilashita Sunyam, you should know who is Guru, who is not Guru, who is Vaishnava, who is. And we should. Knowingly do high class of associates, Vaishnava associates. Otherwise, it's going to do. We should see always. This is a very important factor. That daily in the evening, like a business person, he thinks, oh, today what I gained, what I lost. So, in our life also. How I, I, how I was to yesterday, in what state, and today what? Have I gone lower down or am raising up? Otherwise you cannot develop. As a businessman daily in evening, he if deficient, why? And get very good. So we should try to do like that. I think in seven days here, you can know all these things that your life will be successful. That is why my Siksha Guru ordered me to give some life, inspiration in the devotees now who are dying for water. You go and water. 
Don't be hopeless, hopeless. There should be no hopeless word in your dictionary. <laughs> but try to be sincere. And Guru Bhakta, Guru Shevak, sincere. What I am giving, or Swamiji has given, or our Guru Parampara has given, they are like Chintamani, jewel, what? Desire. Stone. Desire. Stone. 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 You should not throw out. Throw out. Don't neglect for reminding all these things, that you should remember all these things. And you should be in real power. If you are doing nothing, you have so much belief in Guru Dev, hearing, chanting, names and glories of Krishna and Mahaprabhu, your life is successful. Whether I am poor or anything, Lord, <coughs> but you, if you have so much appliances, wealth more than Hiranyakasthu and Ram, <laughs> And others, life is not successful. Don't go towards that point. This is dark. Come in light. Ma tamaso. Jyotir Try to come in this light of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that way. Nityananda Prabhu. Try to come in light. Don't. Bewildered in, oh, in darkness of Maya, illusory Maya. It will cheat you forever. But you should have very strong faith on in these words coming from Krishna in Prabhupada. And try to make your life successful. I request Shyam Rani. To speak something about you. Very sweet and very easy that all can do. <coughs> Not more than fifteen. Minute because there are so many. Oh, my Hanam Timiranda, Sir Gianam Jenisalaka, Chaksu, Rumi, Tami, and Tais, my Sri Guru Vina. First, I offer my unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Diksha Guru Dev, Nichulila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pai, Astotri Satisri Srimad Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. And the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Shiksha Gurudev. Om Vishnu Pad, Astotra Sita Shri Srimad Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Gosai Maharaj. To all of our Guru Varga and all the assembled devotees. Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak on the subject of Guru Tattva. He explained uh, in his own Vyasa Puja lecture two years ago, that one must understand Guru Tattva and one must understand who is Guru. We sing the song, the Guru Parampara, that our first Guru is Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna appears as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sachi Sunam Nandisvara Pati Sutatve Guru Varam that very Krishna appears covered by the mood and complexion of Srimati Radhika as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the complete and supreme Guru. Mahaprabhu expands as Nityananda Prabhu, Akanda Guru Tattva, the complete and undivided Guru. All bona fide Gurus are within him. 
So Guru Tattva is none other than Krishna himself. But there are two Krishnas, Vishaya Krishna and Ashraya Krishna, or the object of love and worship Krishna and the reservoir of love and devotion Krishna. And that is Sri Gurudev, the gurus in our Guru Parampara. Sri Guru is not a human being and he's not a living entity like us. He's actually the manifestation of Krishna. Krishna himself says, Acharya Mam Bijnanyam Nava Manye Karhachit. You should know that Sri Guru is a manifestation of my very self. One should not envy him as one envies an ordinary human being. But one should see him as he is, as the embodiment or abode of all the demigods. Yashasti Bhaktir Bhagavat Yakinchana Sarvaya Gunas Tatra Samasate Sura. For one who is an unalloyed devotee, all the demigods, including Brahma, Indra, Shiva, the most powerful demigods reside in the body of Sri Guru. They are with all of us controlling our senses, our sensory functions. But they're very, very happy and greedy to live in the body of Sri Gurudev because they know that his bhajan is so beautiful and so deep, his love for Radha and Krishna, that we will also benefit by his association. Yasmin Bhagyantam Sarvameva Bhagyantam Bhavati Because Sri Guru knows Krishna, because he's the most confidential servant of the Lord. He not only knows Krishna, but he can even control Krishna. Srila Gurudev explained in New Zealand a year or two ago that if Krishna is angry, at me, Gurudev is saying. And then I say, don't you know that I'm a servant of Srimati Radhika? Then Krishna will say, oh, excuse me. Please, please forgive me. He knows Krishna fully. He's Muddada and Sarvagya. He knows everything. Even when Vidura was asking Maitreya very intricate questions in the third canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, how is it that although the Lord resides as Paramatma in the heart of all living beings, how is it that he still experiences suffering and he has to rotate through the various species of life? When he asked that question to his Gurudev Maitreya, Maitreya appeared to be astonished, as though he couldn't answer. And in the next moment, without hesitation, he answered very beautifully. Srila Prabhupada explains in his purport to that verse that the Guru may appear to be an ordinary person. Mugdada, he may appear not to know anything or that he requires to learn from others what are the truths of the matter. But actually, he knows every intricate matter, every intricate detail of the Lord's creation both spiritual and material. If one knows the details of a real tree, that is the leaves, fruits, flowers, butterflies, birds flying around in the real tree, and if that tree has a shadow on the ground, then surely he can know the details of the shadow, which has no details in comparison to the actual tree. So one who knows Krishna, yasmin bhagyantam sarvamevam bhagyantam bhavati, all truths are known to him, all relative truths. If anyone thinks that, well, he can quote Shastra, but I know more than him, at least in material matters, such a so-called disciple is not a kibudi and not a ki saha. One who thinks that the spiritual master is an ordinary person, he is a resident 
of hell. Because the spiritual master is a manifestation of Krishna. This Shiksha Guru is a manifestation of the personality of Krishna. And the Diksha Guru is a manifestation of the form of Krishna. Krishna takes two forms. Antarjami, the super soul, and the form of Bhakta Shrestha as the topmost devotee. In this way, Krishna appears in the world to help aspiring devotees. So, he's a manifestation of Krishna. He's a manifestation of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gora Surupaya, he's a manifestation of Mahaprabhu. He's a manifestation of Nityananda. And in our line of Guru Parampara, most importantly, he's a manifestation of Srimati Radhika. All the demigods, as mentioned in the previous verse, reside in him. And Nityananda, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Krishna, and most importantly, Srimati Radhika, fully reside in him. All the associates of Srimati Radhika also reside in him. So although he manifests as Muddhada, an ordinary person who might know this or not, not know this or that, actually he's Sarvagya, he's Tree Kalagya, he knows everything past, present and future. So he explained that if we open our heart to him, like a person who's without any dress at all, if he's standing in front of a mirror, then he's no, not shameful because that mirror isn't a person. Similarly, one should do Bhaktiyaikajai Sam Guru Devatatma, perform unalloyed service to the Lord under the guidance of Sri Guru, whom he accepts as his worshipable deity and as more intimate than his very soul. This word Guru Devatatma has two meanings. That is, Krishna himself comes as Sri Guru, as he did in the case of Gopakumar, Kumar. And he appeared to him in different births, in different forms. But it was that same Krishna Jayanta. It also means that Krishna comes in the form of Guru, Ashraya Krishna. And he also comes to us birth after birth. He is our Lord birth after birth. So opening our hearts to him and revealing everything to him as a bosom friend and following his instructions, he explained just recently in Mawilambar that tam. this maya that we've been in since the beginning of time with false thinking that I am a lady or a lad, I am a king or a pauper, where is my mother and father, I've just lost everything, my best friend just died, all these causes of fear. This maya which we've been in since the beginning of time disappears just like magic very soon by taking shelter of Sri Guru Dev. Guru Premanandi. Now, oh, oh, very good. Now I'm requesting Padmanabh Maharaj that he present something. Krishna, Krishna. 
Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sari Gauru Bhakta Vrindanda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 First of all I'm offering my humble Dandavat pranams, my heartfelt Shraddha Pushpanjali, unto the lotus feet of my beloved Gurudev, Nityadila Pravishta, Om Vishnupad Ashtu Tarasata Sri Shima, Isi Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada. <coughs> and I'm offering my equal heartfelt obeisances, Shraddha Pushpanjali. Unto the lotus feet of my beloved Sikhsha Gurus, Nityadila Prabhishta Om Vishnu Padasto Tarasata Sri Shima, Bhakti Rakshak Sri Har Goswami Maharaj, and Om Vishnu Padasto Tarasata Sri Shima, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. And unto the lotus feet of all my Rupa Nuga, Guru Varga, and to all of the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, who have come from so far on this auspicious Vyas Puja day of our beloved Gurudev. <coughs> Srila Gurudev has spoken so many beautiful messages to us today about Guru Tattva, the importance of Gurudev in our spiritual life. We are conditioned souls who have been lost in the cycle of birth and death for millions and millions of uncountable lifetimes. Somehow by the mercy of Krishna, we have come to the shore of this endless ocean of suffering. We have washed upon the shore of the human form of life and in this human form of life, we have had the chance to meet uh, the representative of Krishna, the Supreme Lord, uh, Bhagavan, Sri Krishna, is within our heart. He has been traveling with us for millions of lives, but we have ignored him. We have not uh, connected in relationship with him. And he is desiring so much that we will come to him. So he is out of his mercy. He is sending to this world his very own representatives, his dear most beloved servitors. And they are not different than himself. Saksha Dritena Samastashastri. Ruktastata bhav yada eva sadhavi, king to prapuya priya eva tasi, bande guru sri charanadi. The supreme personality of Godhead Bhagavan, he has two ways of helping the conditioned soul. Internally, he is seated in everyone's heart uh, as the Paramatma, the super soul, who is guiding all the wanderings of the living entities. Ishorak Sarva Bhutanam, Hridde She Arjuna Tishtati, Brahmayan Sarva Bhutan Yantra, Rudhani Mayaya. All the living beings are seated in this body, made of material energy, like sitting on a machine, going here and there. But all wanderings are being directed by the Lord in the heart. But the conditioned soul cannot realize that the Lord is sitting within his heart and therefore he sends, he manifests himself externally to our vision uh, as the great devotee, uh, as the acharya, the preceptor. Uh, 
And in this most merciful form, he shows us by his own example how to reestablish our relationship with Krishna by performing Shuddha Bhakti, pure devotional service to the lotus feet of the Lord. There cannot be any greater mercy shown to the conditioned souls than this. This merciful form of Krishna coming as the Acharya, Lord Brahma, he told that even if uh, the great uh, rishis, the great saints and learned personalities in the universe were able to uh, express their gratitude to Krishna for coming as the Acharya, the preceptor, even if they had the lifetime of Brahma, this would not be sufficient for them to express their gratitude for Krishna coming in the form of Guru. So, this merciful manifestation of Sri Guru Dev has nothing to do with this material world. He is here only for one purpose, and that is to give this guidance to all souls that they may now again become eternally happy in the service of Krishna. So he has no desires to fulfill in this world. He does not need anything from anyone. He is coming only as a giver of the very greatest good fortune for the Jiva souls. He is like the captain of a ship. If you have a very good ship and this ship is equipped to be able to cross over an ocean, still, you cannot go anywhere without a captain to guide the ship. So in the same way, the conditioned souls have received this human body, which is like a ship. It can cross over this ocean of birth and death and bring us to the eternal lotus feet of Krishna. But without the guidance of Sri Guru Dev as the captain of the ship, Guru Karnataram, we cannot cross over. So therefore, all of the good fortune of the Jiva souls can take place only by meeting, connecting to the lotus feet of Sri Guru Dev. Therefore, as in this verse quoted by Srimati Shamarani Divi, that Guru Dev Tatma Bhaktyai Kayesham Guru Dev Tatma. The disciple, he can come out of Maya. He can come out of the illusion of this material world. Tam Maya Yato, Buddha Abhijaitam, Bhaktyai Kayesham Guru Dev Tatma. If he accepts Sri Guru Dev as his most worshipable Lord and Master, as an intimate friend, Lord of his heart, and serves him selflessly without any other ulterior motive. Anya vilashita shunyam, jnana karmadya navritam, anakul yena krishnanu shilanam bhakti uttama. This pure bhakti, it is applied both to Bhagavan Krishna in his form of Supreme Lord and also to the Bhagavat the pure devotee, who is a non-different manifestation of Bhagavan, Krishna Nushilana Bhakti Uttama, to perform favorable devotion to the lotus feet of Sri Guru is the very means of deliverance for the conditioned soul. And when he realizes this fact, then he understands that my Guru Dev, my spiritual master, saved me from this endless cycle of birth and death. I can never repay him. Only I can give my heart and soul to him. Only I can try to render service at his lotus feet and sacrifice my life for his purpose. And this will, if I can do this in this life, then it will be some tiny little repayment for what he has given for me. So on the appearance day of the Acharya, as Gurudev told this morning, it is not a sectarian uh, concern. 
It is not a, a gathering of some sectarian group of people, but this is for honoring and worshiping the direct manifestation of the Lord within this world for all souls. Because there is only one supreme being. There is only one absolute truth. There is not two. And he manifests in this world as so many manifestations, so many gurus. But originally, Akhanda Guru Tattva, huh? the Supreme Lord Himself, He is the Acharya, and He is manifesting Sakshatarikvena, huh? non different manifestation of Hari. So we take the opportunity on this holy appearance day of our beloved Guru Dev to bow our heads at His lotus feet <laughs> and pray for His causeless mercy that one day, huh? in any life, that one day by His mercy we may become qualified, that we can actually render direct service to the lotus feet of Krishna. And as Srila Vishana Chakravarti Thakur prays in the Gauravastakam, huh? if someone worships the lotus feet of Guru hmm, and constantly remembers Sri Guru Dev, then it is sure and certain one day he will have direct service to the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna in Goloka Vrindavan Dham. So this is our great good fortune. And I'm praying at the lotus feet of Guru Dev that he will shower his mercy upon all of us fortunate souls. of Guru and others. Now, you will speak on this subject and also <coughs> qualification of this uh, If Guru is qualified, <laughs> but disciple is not qualified, then what will be? Two, two reasons. Group very powerful by his majestic power and appearance. He may, but we see that even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who could not help, oh, Krishna, Krishna, and so many. So, it is a very important fact. We should try to be very sincere <coughs> disciples. And what is the meaning of disciple? Tattva and Shishya Tattva. 
we see in the Upanishads there the necessity of taking shelter of Sri Guru has been explained. Nayam Atma Pravachanena Labhyo Na Medya Na Bhavana Sutana Yene Vese Vrinute Tena Labhyas Tasya Satma Vivrinute Tanum Swam Nayam Atma Pravachanena Labhyo If you want to attain Atma, here Atma means Paramatma, Supreme Atma, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Advaigyan Paratattva Shri Krishna. If you want to realize that personality, then it will not be possible by giving very learned discourses. It will not be possible by vast intelligence. It will not be possible by endless amounts of hearing of Vaishastra. Why? Because the Supreme Personality of God is transcendental. And our senses and mind, everything is material. How can we see or realize His name, form, quality, pastimes? It is quite impossible. But He can reveal Himself to that person whom He Himself chooses. He reserves that power. If God wants to reveal Himself to us, then very easily He can do it. Hmm? He shows His own tanum, transcendental body to the person whom He chooses. But then the question remains, well, who does He choose? Does the Supreme Lord have favoritism? Hmm? Is He more inclined to show Himself to one person and not to another person? No. Supreme Lord is equally disposed to everyone. But, for that person who becomes the servant of his near and dear devotee, he becomes favorably inclined to them. Therefore, there's no qualification. There's nothing that you can do. There's no amount of austerity, knowledge, sacrifice, study, or anything that you can do to procure the favor of the Lord. All that we can do is surrender our life unconditionally at the lotus feet of His pure devotee. Krishna said, Yeme bhakta jana bhata, nane bhakta jana. Those who dedicate themselves to Me, I never count them among the category of My devotees. Only those who dedicate themselves to My pure devotees, I count them among the category of devotees. Only them. So, because Supreme Lord is transcendental, and we are on the material platform, in spiritual life, before hearing, before chanting, before remembering, before offering prayers, all of the angers of devotional service, before performing any of them, first of all, we will have to take shelter of a transcendental personality. And only after taking shelter of a transcendental personality can our hearing, chanting and remembering become transcendental. And then it becomes bhakti, otherwise not. The activities of bhakti which are performed without being under the guidance of a liberated person, oh, they will fall into category of so many karmas and they will produce many, many side effects which will be impediments on the path of spiritual life. So first thing in spiritual life, first anga of 64 angas of bhakti is Guru Pad Ashray, to take shelter, unconditional surrender at the lotus feet of Sadguru. In Srimad Bhagavatam, it is stated, Tasmad Gurum Prapadyeta Jigyasu Srayam Uttamam Shabdai Parita Nishnatam Brahmanu Pashamashayam. Here, Tasmad Gurum Prapadyeta. Therefore, you should surrender to Guru. Why? Because we are wandering in the endless chain of birth and death and we cannot get out. Because we are searching for happiness. But when we search for happiness by material sense enjoyment, then, oh, what is the concomitant reaction of sensory indulgence? Only dissatisfaction and depression. Hmm? What is depression? What is dissatisfaction? Hmm? Oh, it is only the state of mind that occurs after jiva engages in sense indulgence. Hmm? So because we have tried this and failed, or because we try to become happy by following even dharma, karma kanda, and worship of so many demigods and we have failed. Because 
We tried to become happy by accumulating wealth. And we actually accumulated so many problems. <laughs> many, many difficulties and headaches in life. So because we have pursued so many paths of happiness and everything has failed, Bhagavatam tells us, Tasman Gurun Prapadeta. Therefore, you should surrender the lotus feet of Sadhguru. Because you have failed in every attempt to find a solution to the problems of life. So try this one. This one will work. Tasman Gurun Prapadeta Jigyasu Sreyam Uttamam. And coming to the lotus feet of Guru, we should not try to inquire from Guru or how to procure for ourselves a comfortable position. Material hmm? happiness. But rather, we should inquire about Sreya the ultimate goal of life, the transcendental and eternal benefits. Hmm? That is, the attainment of Prema Bhakti, especially Braja Prem, the service of Radha and Krishna in Braj. We should inquire about this. Hmm? So the disciple, his qualification, first of all, unconditional surrender to the lotus seat of Guru. Hmm? Gradually, gradually by serving Guru, hmm? his anatas will dissipate. And when his anatas are dissipated, then Atmarati, Shri Guru Charani Rati, Eise Uttamagati. Hmm? Srila Nathan Das Thakur explained in his Guru Vandana, Sri Guru Chana Padma Kevala Bhakati Sadma Bandha Mui Savadana Mate First thing, if you want to get devotion, Prema Bhakti, the only place you can find it are at the Lotus Seat of Guru, therefore Bandha Mui Savadana Mate I am bowing down at the Lotus Seat of my Guru, giving up all kinds of false ego, giving up all types of body identification, I am learned, I am qualified, I am experienced, I am wealthy, I am talented, I am autistic, Mm -hmm. giving up all types of false ego. First, bow down the head at the lotus feet of Guru. How? Savadana Mate. Very, very carefully. That means being careful to avoid any offenses coming into the mind. As Srimati Shamani did explain, Acharya Mangitanyam, Navarra Major Kahichit. Don't disrespect the Guru. What does it mean to disrespect, disrespect Sadhguru? It means to allow all the meanings of the Vedas and because of this he can remove every last shred of doubt from the core of your heart so that you can also become fixed. And Pare, Pare, this is the most important qualification. Srila Tiva Goswami Pad writes, Pare, Brahmani, Bhagavat, Abhiba, Vestu, Aparakshanu Bhavena. That the Sadhguru, he has the mm, Anubhav, realization of Krishna. Hmm? He's Tattva Darshinaha. Upadeksandite Gyanam. Gyaninas Tattva Darshinaha. He has the Darsha of Krishna. He is Krishna. The, he is Tattva Vit. Nam, especially Nam Tattva Vit. He has realized Nam Tattva. That Abhinatuan Nam Anamino. At the time of chanting. He is always absorbed and directly serving the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna. And therefore he can give the chance to another living entity to serve the lotus feet of Radha Krishna by imparting the Shanta Brahma in the form of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, Gopal Mantras and all the transcendental mantras by which the Guru gives this topmost transcendental gift of the service of Radha and Krishna in Vrindavan under his eternal guidance. So, on the order of Srila Gurudev, though I am unqualified, I try to repeat one or two words that I have heard from his lotus lips in regard to the qualification of Sadhguru and the qualification of Satsisha.